My name is Tom Blaschi and I'm playing Hagen Foster on this boat. Well, the project's uh, been around for, has been announced for quite some time and it's, um, it's one of the um, biggest projects coming out of Germany in, in, in recent years. And um, I was familiar with the original film and the novel and I like them both and when the producers asked me to, to be part of this I was excited of course. Actually I watched uh, the movie several times as, as, as most people have I guess and uh, there's different versions and I especially I like the director's cut like the, the really long version. It's an amazing movie. Um, what I particularly like about it is that it's a war movie, but essentially it's an anti-war movie and it shows um, those young um, soldiers um, um, being thrown in, in, into this war and into, into circumstances that um, they cannot control and that they have to deal with and uh, all, they, all they want is survive. Yeah, I'm playing Hagen Foster. Foster is the head of the Gestapo in, in La Rochelle. So um, he is in charge of dealing uh, with the resistance, basically, the resistance. And um, he's trying to preserve um, order in, in town and uh, on the base, on the naval base. And um, he's a... He's a strange man. He's um, he, he's a Nazi, and, and he's completely indoctrinated, and he believes in in, in that. Um, but at the same time, he's somewhat of a francophile, so he loves everything about France. And uh, in the course of the story, uh, we find out that he would actually like to to stay in France once the war is won, and he's um, already making bigger plans, um, yeah, and uh, they don't all work out. <laughs> well, as I, as I said already, I mean, he's um, uh, for some reason unknown. Um, he's a Francophile, so he likes, uh, he actually quite likes France and, and, and French people, and he, he enjoys the, uh, the lifestyle and the savoir vivre, um, so he enjoys a good wine and uh, the countryside and um, he's making, actually making plans to, to stay in France um, once the war is won. What I like about it is that it's a war story but essentially it's an anti-war story. Um, you don't have uh, your usual black and white characters. So this is uh, all the characters portrayed in this story are portrayed as human beings uh, with all their f flaws and um, and faults, and um, they're all struggling to get through those times. And it's I think it's always easy for us. Um, to judge um, people living in those days, but if you actually live under those circumstances, um, it must have been a totally different thing. And so you were, a lot of people were just trying to get by. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I find uh, interesting and challenging to portray um, um, people who live in, the, in, 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 in those days. I love costume pieces because it's always fun to, to dress up in a, in a different character and, and, and time period and uh, we have amazing costumes. I mean, Chatoon, she's, um, I, I knew her from a, from a different project before and she's designed really great costumes and uh, locations are, are cool. I mean, we're only, we'll be shooting in France um, uh, later uh, next month. So far we've mainly shot here in Prague, which I'm... Um, very familiar with from, from other projects, and there's, but we had some great locations already. When the original movie, it was just uh, basically the story on the boat, the mission the boat was sent on, and um, um, we're expanding that. So we have basically two major uh, storylines, 
one on the boat uh, and one on land, which I think is a very nice addition because it shows um, a bigger universe of uh, what was going on then. And um, um, people on the boat are dependent on the decisions being made on land and uh, vice versa. I mean, the situation on land is uh, also determined by the outcome of the battle at sea. So this is like a very nice um, intertwining element. But particularly to prepare for this part, I mean, we had some arms training because uh, there's going to be some uh, some action. And um, but other than that, you you really try to uh, to understand um, what what drives your character. And um, I mean, I myself, I had uh, two grandfathers who who were in the war, who fought in the war, and. Uh, I'm, I'm always uh, drawing from, from, from their stories uh, about it, so from, from, the, from their experiences. What will audiences take away from the series? Well, first of all, I hope they, it's, it's going to be great entertainment um, because it's a, it's a great story. It's a gripping story with uh, really interesting characters and there is no... Um, there is no black and white in this story, so it's, it's probably, okay, how can you put it, yeah, it's maybe many shades of grey. Uh, <laughs> so and that's what's essentially interesting in life, you know, it's not always uh, who you think are the good guys that are really morally on the, on, on the right side or vice versa. So you, uh, essentially what we're trying to do is to, to, to tell a gripping story um, from, from those days. Different languages are being spoken, uh, respective people like, uh, speak their respective languages um, and um, so that lends a lot of authenticity to the story, uh, obviously. And, um, um, I think it's also going to be very interesting uh, for the audience and it, it, it gives you a chance to really uh, engage with the characters and um, maybe as an audience also feel what it is like um, to be in another country um, under circumstances um, like, like those and maybe not always understand everything verbally but then have to, you have to, to deal to get by. I mean, I always think it's great if uh, if original languages are spoken on, on, on television programs.